Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will uh, learn about how we can create a simple and basic API. Keep in mind, in this video, we are not going to use any uh, dynamic data like database connection and all. We will put this data statically and uh, we will create API. And yes, definitely you can use this API in React, Angular and Vue in any other frameworks and library of front end and you can just display the data, right? So let's uh, start with the points of this video. First of all, we will create a Node.js server. After that, we have to create the header and API body. Then we will create API with the static data. And after testing this API with the postman, I will show you how you can put the API data in the another file and API code in the another file. At the last, we will discuss uh, important interview questions. So let's create a server first of all. So as I told you in the in some previous video also, whenever we have to handle API data request and response, that time we have to use HTTP module. So let's import it first of all. So just take const HTTP and require HTTP module. After that, let's create simple HTTP dot create server and uh, let's just use the uh, function chaining because in a function chaining it have um, another method which is listen and here you can put any port where your uh, API will be run like this and as I told you in the previous video create server is a function that take a parameter as a function or you can say that this is a callback function so let's take it as a callback function and this function have two requests or two parameter one is request second one is response you can put any name to these parameters it's not required that you just put here req and resp i just uh, use the short form for request and response even you can take abc xyz parameter also it's totally up to you after that we have to create a header so definitely we will use here a response parameter because whenever we are sending some data while creating api that time we have to just use response uh, parameter and whenever we are getting the data from uh, form to api and from front end to some data that time we will just use a request so we are sending data so we will just use a response dot right head and here we have to define 200 for first parameter because we are just just showing the data in a get api right and after that let's define here content type content type and it will be a type of json so let's put here application json like this and uh, let's put the uh, semicolon at the last after that just simply put here resp dot write and here we can put here some data that will be show as a api so we can put here any um, object so let me just create a name is let's say anil or you can say that email is let's say anil at the rate test.com it will work uh, perfectly fine but we have to just make it as a string data so just convert this json to st to string and for that we use basically json dot stringify like this great and at the last one we have to just we have to end this request so just put here resp dot end function and that's it our api is ready now let's try to run it on our uh, browser but first but before that we have to run our server so just use here node moon that we installed in previous video and put here index.js and now let's try to run it on our port number which is uh, 5000 this is working perfectly fine but we must have to test our apis on the postman also so let's uh, open our apps and if you did not install the postman as a chrome extension then you can install it or you can download the setup it's totally up to you and 
let's close these pop-ups and open a new tab our function should be a get type because we are just getting the data from api and uh, put the url and run here here you can see that data is perfectly fine status is 200 everything is fine so now let's add some more data in this api but uh, in, here you can see that in index.js we just write the code for uh, creating the api so data should be in the another file so let's uh, create a data dot js file and uh, just create here module dot exports and uh, just pass here data but did, we did not define this data yet so let's cut this data from here and assign to the data const like this and after that what we can do here let's import this data require our data file like this and uh, now let's use this data inside the json.stringify and the, our output will be again same there is a no difference and now the benefit is our data is segregated from our api code and let's say if you want to just add some more data uh, let's say you want to some more entries what you can do here let's simply create here array and add our uh, objects like second object and third object after that let's change the name like say sam and peter and we must have to just separate these uh, objects with the comma and you can change the uh, email address also if you want and now let's test it with our postman here you can see that this is again working perfectly fine there is no issue so now let's jump on the interview question so what is our interview question so what does that mean of this status 200 and what are the other possible values with the 200 and where this is actually coming from first thing is like it's actually coming from our header it's actually just tell that what is that our response of our header 200 means everything is okay and we get the data if we just put here 201 that simply means we just created something whenever we are accepting the data from any form or uh, any front-end development frameworks and library that time we just create a new entry and it will just show the 201 and it's totally up to us you know back-end developer what we want to show here even we can show here 404 that means page not found or data not found like this and another value is 500 that simply means a server error here you can see that these are uh, possible values there are some other possible values also like 200 uh, 203 and 204s and all you can just get from uh, these values from the google and uh, just read about it this so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel